so I thought I would make a short little video to explain since uh, this assignment, since it's not a normal worksheet that we do for each unit. So this is the political cartoon analysis over the Gilded Age. So this period of time is called the Gilded Age. Um, everything seems golden and grand, but as you've hopefully learned, it's not always that, that case, right? So um, at the beginning here, it shows you the five uh, main elements that political cartoon creators use to get their point of view across. So political cartoons are a good way to convey something that is going on in society without having to write paragraph upon paragraph of information. You can glance at a political cartoon very quickly in order to understand the concept without having to spend a lot of time reading about it. So some of the things they use symbolism. So an object would stand for an idea, much like say, um, you know, skull and crossbones for a pirate or poison. Um, we use symbols all the time. Colors can be symbolic. So in movies, traditionally, you know, think of like an old Western, the good uh, guy cowboy would wear white and the bad criminal would be dressed in black. Captioning and labels. So it is important on these that you try to zoom in and read some of these labels or captions. I know in today they would probably be typed out and a little easier to read, but you can give it a go. An analogy is a comparison between two unlike things. So keep in mind that it may look like something, but be something else. For instance, I'm going to scroll here a little bit. If you notice, these gentlemen are not necessarily just gentlemen. If you look at what they're actually made of, they are not just very large humans. I get that they are, they are built that way. But if you look, their bodies are created by something that's not actually a, a body. Next, irony, uh, the difference between something is and the way thing you expect it to be. A lot of times irony can be um, funny or humorous. An exaggeration, something that is overstated in order to bring attention to it. So they might exaggerate someone's physical features in a way that is not actually accurate, but in a humorous or important way. So then you have the actual political cartoon. Sorry, I know that was a little jumpy right there. I was trying to get it uh, centered on the page the best I could. So you have a sign here. Don't forget you have some information over here to the side. Sorry, that was the bell here at the school. Then you obviously have these large gentlemen behind with smaller people up here in front. So using the information and using the political cartoon, I've asked you to analyze it below. Um, also, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. It also has a title. It says the bosses of the Senate. So, you know, always pay attention to your titles. So the first thing you're going to do is list eight objects or figures that you see in the cartoon. So you're physically going to type out specific things that um are of interest so please don't just tell me i'm scrolling back up again sorry if that jumped on you but these are humans like i get that you see humans but try to add a little more detail to your description please don't just put i see pants i see hats i see so i'm needing specific things that you think might be relevant to the situation there's the school bell again um also i already told you the title of the cartoon you're just going to type it in which objects do you think are symbolic? Where do you think it takes place? Who do you think in the men in the back are supposed to represent? And so you're going to go through and answer. There are nine questions in total. Once again, all of this information is not something you can necessarily Google or would have in your notes, but using your prior knowledge of chapter 12 and chapter 13, basically the units that we are currently on, um, I'm asking you to analyze, to dig deeper, to think big thoughts about this political cartoon. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Please make a copy, turn it into Canvas when you're done for credit.